Hello, everyone, and welcome to AWS reInvent. Thank you so, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. It is so great to be back here with all of you on the 10th anniversary of reInvent and the 15th anniversary of AWS. And today I'm excited to announce a new capability of SageMaker to enable business users and analysts to generate highly accurate machine learning predictions using a visual point-and-click interface with no coding required. Amazon SageMaker Canvas. I'm really pleased to announce Graviton 3, the next generation of AWS designed ARM chips. Graviton 3 chips are another big leap forward, 25% faster on average for general compute workloads than Graviton 2, and they perform even better for certain specialized workloads. They provide two times faster floating point performance for scientific workloads, or two times faster for cryptographic workloads, and three times faster for ML workloads. And to help reduce the carbon footprint, Graviton 3 processors use up to 60% less energy for the same performance as comparable instances. Here today we're announcing the general availability of transactions for governed tables in lake formation. Now you can create a new type of table, a governed table that supports asset transactions so this data is added or changed in S3. Lake Formation automatically manage, manages conflicts and errors to give all users a consistent view of the data. This eliminates the need for custom error handling code or for batching updates. And so now multiple sources and data pipelines can keep updating data in real time while users are querying data instead of, instead of having to wait for data to be updated in batches. Both of these new capabilities make it a lot easier to set up, to govern, and to manage your data lake, and we're really happy to make them available today. And that's why we're really pleased to be announcing AWS IoT TwinMaker, a new service to make it easier for developers to create digital twins of real-time systems like buildings, factories, industrial equipment, and product lines.